to where, where to go, whom we should be acquainted with. It's a wonderful time, and we enjoy it. But later on, with the years, we may come across, not necessarily all of us, but we may come across with such things which uh, bring us really tragedy. We are deprived of freedom of choice. It may be under three circumstances. First, if uh, people are, well, it was long ago in uh, history, they are <coughs> slaves, they cannot choose. It was in many countries and in Russia as well. Then, you cannot choose uh, professionally. There are some professions, but you have to choose. But you're not free very often. It's jury, all sorts of jury in the competitions and in the courts. Then, examinators. And the third one, when people are forced to do something they don't want to, but they have no choice. It might be uh, voting, you know, sometimes people are forced to vote for the special person, uh, and they could do nothing about it. And it, uh, this thing deprives them of inner freedom. So the only thing, and not everyone uh, of us is strong morally enough to forget about punishment that may follow and insist on your freedom of choice. It's a rare thing. And the last thing that still remains when we may, uh, make our choice to betray or not to betray, they say it's still 